Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about moment about an axis. But before that, let's review some of the operations that we previously talked about. We talked about dot product and we showed it by a dot b. The result of a dot product is a scalar value and the application is to find a projection of a vector like force on a line. The other operation that we talked about was cross products. We showed it by a cross b. The result of a cross product is a vector and we used it for finding a moment about a point. So projection of a vector on a line. Let's say we want to find the force F that we have it in Cartesian form uh, along CB. All we need to do is to have a dot product of the force uh, with unit vector CB. And then for a dot product, the order does not matter. So UCB dot F is the same as F dot UCB. For a cross product application, we use it to find a moment about a point. The cross product formulation is a determinant of these matrix. The first row is i, j, k. The second row would be our first vector, r. And the third row would be our second vector, fourth. The order matters in cross product. So r cross f is not the same as f cross r. And that's the formulation for the cross product. So if you want to find the moment of this force F about, let's say, point C, all we need to do is find the position vector from C to B or CB, and then cross F. If you want to find a moment about point A, then that would be a different position vector from A to B, where force F is acting. But here we are going to talk about moment about an axis, which is a combination of cross product and a dot product. Moment is R cross F. And if you want to find it about an axis, it's the same as finding the, its projection about that axis. So we have a dot product with the unit vector of that axis. So here would be our unit vector. It has three components in I, J, K representing X, Y, and Z coordinate dot the cross product definition ijk the second row would be our position vector and the third row would be our fourth vector either we can find a cross product and then have a dot product between the result and our unit vector or directly find the determinant of this matrix where the first row is our unit vector the second row would be our position vector and the third row would be our fourth vector and here, instead of i, j, k, I have the component of my unit vector in x, y, and z. And the y component always takes that negative. That's the definition of the formulation. That vector r is the position vector between any point on the axis to any point on the line of action of the force. So if I want to find uh, the moment of force f about axis o, a, the position vector would be either R O C. Uh, let me. My options would be from O, a point in on axis, to a point on the line of action of my fourth F. Or I could do from A to C. So O to C, A to C. And then the other point on the line of action of force is point D. So I can go from points on my axis OA to D. So the other two options that I have is R O D and R A D. So I could use any of these four position vectors in my formulation for finding a moment about an axis and get the same result so any point here i have the coordinate for o and a that's why i chose o and a it could be any other point also here line of action of force f could be any point but i have the coordinate for c and d that's why you see i use c and d the result of that dot product is the scalar value if that scalar is negative that means that the direction of that projection is the opposite of uab if you want to find that a scalar in a vector form, you just need to multiply it by its unit vector. So 
So here I'm not talking about a dot product or a cross product. We are not talking about the multiplication of two forces. It's just one vector and then the other one is a scalar. So a scalar simply multiplied by uh, the vector and gives us the vector form of moment about an axis. So moment about an axis has this formulation. The important thing is to remember the order of each row the unit vector of that axis, the position vector, and the force.